Hey everyone, Joel Anson here, my good friend Mr. George, and today we are in Detroit, Michigan. That's right, good to be back in Detroit, and today we're eating the biggest burger north of Detroit. Biggest burger north of Detroit. At a place called Al Jim's Barbecue, and or it's also called Burger Shack. Uh, kind of the two uh, businesses in one. So really cool story behind this place. This place actually started as Al Jim's Barbecue in a gas station. It did so well, they got their new location here. They're serving up burgers, and what they're most known for is their brisket. So it's burgers topped with like brisket. You have you know all kinds of cheese and all kinds of cool, cool, cool things. So this burger's absolutely massive. It consists of a patty, which is three plus pounds of beef. That's right, over three pounds of beef. It's on a huge, giant, 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 giant brioche bun, which weighs probably at least three, probably at least three, four pounds itself. And then it's going to be topped with brisket. We have some jalapenos. We have spicy mayonnaise. So there definitely is a spice heat aspect. We're going to have onions, tomatoes, lettuce, all kinds of different sauces. They have like homemade, like house-made barbecue sauce, a Carolina sauce as well they make. Make all the sauces. It all looks so great. They season things so well. And we're also going to have a side of fries with their shack, like get it, burger shack, like shack seasoning. So all in all, it sounds very, very good. Uh, we're, the crazy thing about this, we're only going to have 30 minutes to complete this massive giant challenge. I'm a little worried about that. It's definitely a short time limit. But if we do complete it, we get the meal for free, which is pretty sweet. Um, and I think a sweet t-shirt. So with that, let's, uh, well, just wish me luck. It's going to be a big challenge. Looks like it might cloud over here and start raining. But uh, I look really forward to this. I've heard great things. I know it's going to be delicious. I love brisket. I love beef. So uh, let's go eat a massive burger. Everyone, so here we are with the challenge. It's absolutely massive, as you can see. Like just absolutely giant. Look at the size of this burger. Then we have other fries with their signature shack seasoning on them. So it all looks very delicious. Of course, we have the brisket and everything on here. So very, very excited to dig into this. Um, with only 30 minutes, I think it's definitely going to be a bit of a challenge. But I'm ready to rock. I'm very, very excited. So that let's dive into this momentarily. And uh, I'm ready. I'm ready. I tell you, I, I'm very, very ready. All right, everyone. So let's get started. I'm going to pull this knife. I think that's fair. Look at this. Beautiful knife, though. Definitely be good for cutting uh, if we decide to cut this thing. It is, it is very beastly, to say the least. But with that, how we get started? We'll say it again. Five, four, four three, three, two. two. Oh, my gosh. This bun. One. One. Let's... Uh, Hold on, let me have a bite. All right. Ooh, hot. One. Let's go. That brisket and barbecue sauce? Woo! Mm. That is delicious. I love barbecue. I love beef. Hence the share. Great flavors of smokiness. Woo! Must got a few of the jalapenos. Got a little, 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 little bit of spice happening. Not too much, but. Oh, but. Hey everyone, welcome to this video where today we're here at Burger Shack. Yes, that's right, Burger Shack and Al Jim's Barbecue here in Dearborn, Michigan. So super, super excited to be here doing this absolutely giant challenge. Um, so this is definitely a big burger that they called the Flaming Bull. So for this challenge, I had 30 minutes to complete this absolute monstrosity and I knew it was definitely going to be a battle. This thing not only had the massive three plus pound beef patty, but those buns, that bun was absolutely giant. Um, it was a custom made breed brioche bun um, so it was definitely a uh, sizable and or dense bun at that and then of course we had the brisket and all the other really nice toppings great seasoning on the burger as well i do have my favorite ketchup i have to utilize some of that mm. delicious 
What Al Jooms is known for is kind of like the Detroit Sub, also again, and pretty much everything with brisket. So Detroit Sub is like a submarine sandwich with brisket on it, same as their burgers. Their burgers having this signature brisket on it. Um, Al Jooms goes way back with Chef Ali. Like this guy was ahead of the game. Before Instagram, before TikTok, this guy was doing the food videos on like Facebook. This guy really knew what he was doing. And uh, I'd say a leader kind of in that social, uh, kind of social media kind of food game today. Um, um, which leads us to being here. Um, so this challenge is while we in the fries, we also had their shack seasoning. So what else is so cool about this place is not only are they making so many different sauces, but they're making their own seasonings, their own spices. Uh, they aren't serving anything here. And to quote uh, Chef Ali, the owner there, he was saying, I wouldn't serve anything I wouldn't serve to my family. It's real food, the quality comes through, and definitely something that you can tell there's real passion and real uh, kind of flavor, you know, behind. And some healthy vegetables. <sighs> Damn, just look at that brisket. Mm -hmm. That is just like delicious. I get hungry watching you on YouTube, but it's like really bad right now. Like it's like really. actually smell the Oh my goodness. Yeah, smell vision is a thing today. <laughs> Now with this challenge, again, we were hoping for that free meal. I definitely knew this was going to be one where I had to put my head down and just give it a good run, give it a good gun. Like I said, I knew that bun was going to pose a lot, a lot, a lot of difficulty just due to the size of it. But like I said, at this point, everything I had was absolutely fantastic. The brisket, the meats, um, and all the sauces were just absolutely delicious. Uh, the barbecue sauce is actually so like secretive of a recipe. They'll like won't uh, send it home with you at takeout. Um, you literally can only get the pure version in store. So they really, uh, let's just say there's been many seekers of the secret recipe. Burgers coming along very, very well. Good food just goes down easy. This place was also super cool just for the location. Um, it's like from the outside, it is pretty simplistic, but once you're inside, just like the staff, the smells, the food, definitely well worth it. They had a number of different cheesecakes and also milkshakes, which they did there. And the crazy things with the milkshakes, people like lined up, you know, when they first started doing them for hours, hours, hours on end. Um, so this place, definitely a busy spot. Uh, Dearborn is very much a supportive community and they, everybody knows Burger Shack, everybody knows Al Jum's barbecue. This place has its like real reputation and that's what kept it here for so, so, so many years. All right, so just over five minutes in, Almost up the patty down. Then with these massive buns, pile fries, and onions. I better pick up the speed. These buns could take a while. But I believe that's pretty much all the info I have for you today. Like I said, very sizable challenge. Um, very, very delicious so far. So the burgers basically done. Let's get on to these. Trust me, these fries. They put this own their own seasoning on this. Mm. I can smell it. Apparently there's 50, 50, five zero spices in this. Shack seasoning. Oh, that's not a lot. That's fire. But that let's tune on in. I'll update you how everything else tastes. Hopefully I can be able to taste everything on the plate. And uh, at that ultimately I'll let you get to the rest of the video. Try the barbecue sauce. Mmm. Oh man. That's delicious. And apparently they won't even give it for takeout because people are going to steal the recipe. And I see why. Mm. I mean, that mustard sauce. Woo! Very good. Eight and a half minutes in, onion rings, bread. I can't underestimate this. This is gonna be 
it's gonna be interesting. But custom made brioche bun. So shout out to that. I do like a good old brioche bun. And they buttered it. <sighs> Alright, let's get going. You can talk and stuff too if you want. Put the music on most of it. I still got that song playing in my head and I'm just trying to make sure I don't sing it. Copyright infringement. You got me one of the burgers. Oh, join me. Excuse me. Yeah. Excuse me. Yeah, this is some serious fun. That ain't always a bad thing, but put it that way. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Yeah. That is thick. Multiple C's. I probably have been over 13 in. Ooh, no shortage of bread. It is a very good bun. The bottom half definitely usually eat from the top. I am working without dunking or soaking it, but doing so would probably make it a little easier. So we'll see what happens. <laughs> That's so good. I also have the brisket juice. <laughs> oh, 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 tempting. I won't say no. <laughs> and if you made it to this point so far th first off thank you so much for watching i really appreciate that you rock for not skipping let's play one of our jokes on the skippers comment down below oh my gosh did you see that ghost in the background and uh ultimately have some fun with it and thank you for commenting and thank you for watching and it's like a slice of pizza that everybody wanted but only yeah it sounds like a slice of pizza <laughs> <laughs> i tell you something spicy this must be the spicy mayonnaise it kicks So the soak a little bit. Brisket juice. Meat bread. Bread, meat biscuit juice. Just created something new. <laughs> Innovation. Ooh, it looks hot. Oh my goodness. Yes. Oh, okay. First is burning my mouth. Second, I taste really good. <laughs> The end is near. Ooh. And we have brisket juice. It's hot. It's hot. Good, good. About 19 minutes in, hell of a challenge, but I did see the end, so let's keep on trucking. Are you gonna have a joke for the comment? Summer? A joke, but you know how you normally say something? For 
Usually it goes in the voiceover, but oh, you can okay. do it live today. Okay. Let, me, let me think of something. Okay. <laughs> And there's per the request. Let's play a joke on the skippers. If you made it to this point, first off, thank you so much for watching. And comment down below. Hey, Joel, nice underwear. <laughs> and stay tuned. Oh, that's a good one. Maybe you'll get a bit of a show. <laughs> that's a good one. Get some of the strap mill. Get some of the strap mill. All right, 22.01. That was a hell of a challenge. Definitely a very delicious burger though. I tell you, Burger Shack and Al Jim's Barbecue, they got it going on. That brisket is straight fire. So really, really enjoyed it. I have to give a huge shout out to their sauces as well. That barbecue sauce, that Carolina kind of mustard style sauce they got going on is absolutely delicious. Whew, so I wanna give a huge thanks to everybody who's here, Chef Ali specifically, for great food. So if you're ever in the area, definitely stop up by. This part of Michigan is just like smothered and smeared with so many food options, and this is definitely one of the best. So definitely come on by, grab yourself a burger. The brisket burger is what they're well known for, and I tell you what, I am definitely gonna be back. So I want to huge thanks to everybody who came by to watch. Really appreciate it. Great crowd, Michigan has been so awesome. And uh, like I said, just if you want some great food, you know where to come on by. So everyone, until next time, hope you enjoyed today's video. Hell of a challenge. So that, until next time, of course, say happy healthy, hungry, happy eating. My hands are just like, let me just try to clean up a little bit. <laughs> then I like feel more comfortable touching my camera. All right, there you go. So like I said, everybody, say happy healthy, hungry, happy eating. Oh, and actually, I think we had a, uh, we had a milkshake? Yes. I think we had a little bit of a teaser milkshake here. Which I have to say, so this is something that they started doing. They pump out crazy milkshakes out of here. In fact, they have had hour waits for milkshakes because they were all handmade had spun. And so this is the strawberry shortcake, is that correct? Strawberry shortcake, reminiscent of all kinds of childhood. And look at this. It's like, oh, it's gonna come out, but there's like a whole popsicle. It's like a whole strawberry shortcake popsicle thing here. So at that, I have to give again an extra special thank you. Of course, this is a part of the challenge. Just, just like here. Cherry on top. And I said, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and it's very delicious. I'd be like, yeah, just, just yes, yes. Yeah. <laughs> so burger, brisket, shake. Yes. yes. Good combo. Yes. Good combo. Yes. So I don't like I said, I've already said goodbye like five times, but just have a lovely day. Have a lovely life. Look at that. How can you be sad looking at that? Just, just, just look at that. It's so pretty, it's pretty. Everybody just have a lovely day. Until next time, happy day. Dang nabbit cat, you're gonna be down the menu next week if you don't shut up. So there everybody, thanks so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed. Click my face right here to subscribe. And also I picked two videos. That's right, two videos just for you that you might like. Right here. So like I said guys, hit that subscribe, hit one of these videos, do it right now. Until next time, have a lovely day.